Hi, I'd like to welcome you to ORPCT 1001. My name is Anna Campbell. I am the program chair for ORPCT, CSPD, and Surgical Technology. Um, I just wanted to take a minute to introduce myself. Sometimes I don't get to see you guys. Um, so uh wanted to just talk to you for a sec about kind of expectations. Um, I want to make sure that you look through the syllabus carefully on Blackboard. Uh, remember that the online component is all of your classroom work. So all of your tests and exams and discussions and uh, everything is on Blackboard. Um, your in-class will be your lab. So that is going to be all filled with skills competencies that you're going to want to use as much time as possible during lab to practice. Um, and then grading. We actually grade those, those uh, skills to see um, your level of skill. How much have you practiced? How much time have you put in? Um, so uh, I want you to make sure. So as far as the classroom component goes, Make sure you log into Blackboard. Start with the syllabus. That's the first thing you should do. Um, the syllabus is going to tell you absolutely everything. The grading, uh, how it's done, the weight of the grading. Um, lab is 50% of your grade and the classroom is the other 50%. So um, uh, please, please, please go through that syllabus carefully. Uh, that's your step one. Then you're going to go into course content and you will see different modules there. Each module is one week long. So a click on that first module will tell you the dates that, um, that you, uh, what module you're in, the dates will be there. Um, it's gonna tell you a reading assignment, a, a presentation will be offered, um, and then a discussion and an exam. So the reading should be first, make sure you read carefully through your chapter then your presentation is gonna really, it's gonna be like your study guide. So look through that presentation and go through and highlight your book um, or write notes off of that. It's just like your lecture, basically. Um, so focus on that area for your exam and what to study. And then your discussion will be, um, it, it'll relate to that chapter and it's just gonna kind of be a way for us all to communicate with each other. So your initial post will be 150 words and then you need to have a reply to two other students. Um, and I believe those are 75 words each. Follow your due dates, make sure you have everything in on time. In Surge Tech, we are super strict with um, timeliness. I need you to hear on time. Um, on time means 10 minutes early, make sure you're here. Um, a little bit early so that you know you're here on time. Um, also, so once you go through all of that material, you go through your discussions, um, then you're going to take your exam. Uh, that exam is timed. So obviously you can use your book, but you want to make sure that you are studying and doing your reading. You will not get through these exams uh, if you wait till that day to um, open your book. So um, we start with about two minutes a question in the very in the um, first two weeks, and then we move to a minute and a half on those exams uh, per question. So, um, so it, it goes fast, minute and a half goes fast if you haven't learned the material. So make sure that you're putting some time in there. Um, uh, content material, what else do you need? You also need um, the competency videos that are on Blackboard. So you're, you're lab skills that are required we call competencies. You will always have a video uh, the week before for the competencies that you're expected to complete that, that following week. Look through those, practice at home. Um, after you learn the skill, put the video back on, make sure you're doing it correctly. Ask your family to watch you while you're practicing to see if you look like what the video looks like. Um, again, if you need to uh, schedule more time in the lab, I'm always here. Just send me an email and we'll set up a time for you to come in and um, get some more time in the lab. Uh, I cannot stress enough how important practice is. I support practice, so uh, there's really no excuse as long as you reach out to me and let me know. If you're struggling in the classroom, have to reach out to me and let me know and we can come up with some uh, better study tools or um, some guidance on how to move you successfully through the course. Uh, but the biggest thing is communication. Make sure you're talking to your uh, lab instructor. Make sure you're talking to me if you need to. Um, but communicate can't stress communication enough. Um, there's also a credible resources page on Blackboard that uh, 
is a great place for um, for resources, reliable resources. Medicine, you can get some crazy um, information on the internet. So you really want to make sure that anytime you are researching something that you need a little bit more information on, that you're going to a credible resource. So I think that's about it. Uh, for lab, make sure you're showing up with scrubs. Um, scrubs means any kind of scrubs, anything. Uh, you can grab them at Walmart. They're real cheap. Um, any color, it doesn't matter. Um, any pattern. Just make sure no jewelry, no earrings, no face piercings, no necklaces, um, gym shoes, because you want you're going to be moving a lot during lab. This is you're kind of busy. We have you doing a lot of stuff in lab, so make sure make sure you're ready to roll when you come in here. Uh, again, any questions at all, reach out to me. Um, really excited about you guys starting this journey. This is a lot of fun. Uh, it is hard work, but it is um, real cool when you're done with it. Something to be really proud of. The, the end of this course, you're going to know whether the operating room is right for you. Um, there's a certain expectation. There's a lot of rules we follow. Um, we have to listen to direction uh, every day, every minute of every day, no matter how long you've been doing this. So, so really take all that into consideration when you're taking this course. Make sure that this is the place for you. Um, but if it is, I, I know you're, you're absolutely going to love it. Um, again, reach out with any questions and good luck with the semester.